No? Yeah, well, I heard from 6 to 14 cents an average increase all over the area. And you know what surprises me is that several months ago, remember when the prices of crude oil went down? It took them like four to six weeks to drop the price? Yeah. All of a sudden, they got a threat in the Middle East, and the price goes up in 82 cents. Listening to the radio, and every time they got a new news report, <laughs> they go up and jacking up another penny on the pumps. Yeah, but it's not the oil companies. The spokesman say, no, not us. And the dealers say, no, it's not us. Yeah, well, how come those retailers are all out there with their prices up in crayon? <laughs> <laughs> Really. <laughs> now, Duran Duran is in the posse later on this morning, right here in the news, Z100 Morning Zoo. And uh, John Bon Jovi reports of his wow. dinner last night with our leader, Steve Kingston, coming mm. up later on this morning. <laughs> what John ordered and what happened underneath the table, that's all coming up this morning, <laughs> right here at Z100. But right now, let's get into the mystery movie for this morning. Here's how we're going to play you a little snippet from the movie. If you can identify it, we have a $100 gift certificate to Blockbuster Video for YOU. Here's the clue. Why do you say you feel trapped? In a man's body. <laughs> well, sometimes I get the menstrual cramps real hard. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't think we need another uh, clue on that one. <laughs> Studio lines are open right now. 1-800-242-0100. Dial carefully and good, good luck. luck. Yes. Mallory Seagraves with an instant traffic update. Play the Fox 5 in the summer game. It's simple. It's easy. It's Z100. <laughs> It is 7.05. Time to get a winner for our mystery movie. Let's go to the phones. But first, let's hear that clue one more time. You got it. Why do you say you feel trapped in a man's body? Well, sometimes I get the menstrual cramps oh. real hard. Good morning, Z100. Hello. Good morning. Who is this? Hi, this is Jay Manahan. Just a minute, Jay. It sounds like we're on a, we're on a connection here in the city in New York. Okay. That's right. Absolutely. Wow. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> How does he get that? <laughs> Jay, what is that mystery movie? Is the answer Raising Arizona? Absolutely oh. correct, Amigo. All right. Jay, you get a fabulous prize. Jay, do you rent videos? Sure. Well, guess what? $100 will buy a lot of videos, even if you go in that little back room there. <laughs> you know <laughs> what I'm talking one. about? Yes, I do. All right. Have a great time, Jay. You too. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Do you have any disgruntled employees? Hell, they're all disgruntled. I ain't running a damn daisy farm. What did the my motto say? is do it my way or watch your butt. Tasty, crazy, crunchy, yummy morning zoo flakes. Wake up, your breath smells bad, and your body's got the shakes. Get dressed, drink caffeine, and eat your zoo flakes. Well, it's got no fruit or marshmallow chunks. Please make no mistake. You'll just love that fortified corn in morning zoo flakes. Zoo flakes to start your day. Better than bagels or lox. Zoo flakes, it's the brand with the more dorks on the box. Tasty, crazy, crunchy, yummy morning zoo flakes. Zoo flakes. Z100. W-H-T-Z D-100 oh. <laughs> Quit sticking your head out the window, man. That will not happen. Good morning. It's the all-new Z Morning Zoo. Right here at Z100 is 717 later on this morning. The final... Whiz word of the day. Yes, and you know we're looking forward to that. Instant weather, cloudy, humid, lots of rain for tomorrow. The forecast, uh, high around 76 both days. Tonight, 69 and 72 right now at Z100. guy named Ashrita Furman is out right now in that little park uh, between 6th Street and the FDR Drive attempting to regain his Guinness World Record for walking with a full milk bottle balanced on his head. Hmm. Uh, That's an had, important thing. They've had uh, 60 minutes to features on him and stuff like that, and uh, he, this is he owns like 15 Guinness Book of World Record records, and this is one of them. He's wet this morning. I he guess. is wet this morning. Good morning, Z100. Good morning. This is Reynolds from St. Albans. I'm just calling to comment on the uh, Madonna concert last night. Did you see it, sir? Oh, uh, yes. And what did you and think? I heard it on Z100 also. I had my, my stereo cranking, <laughs> and I had the TV on. So you heard uh, the beeps? Yeah, I heard a lot of the beeps. Yeah, the beeps were... <laughs> I was dying. I couldn't, I couldn't believe that uh, she was doing all this uh, swearing on the... Sparky uh, Reeves was at the transmitter trying to catch every 
single word before they got right, here. No, you guys, you guys are doing your best, but you, you know, I, I, I heard a few, and I, uh, I said, well, you're, you're doing the best you could. Yeah. What, what did you think of the concert? I thought the concert was great. It was provocative. It was the things she was doing on stage, which you couldn't see on Z100. Right. Uh, the things that she did, I was, it was just, uh, I was, it was, it was awesome. I, 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 I don't have words to, to, to uh, explain. Well, we knew it was going to be good. We got a letter last week from somebody that said, "Wait till you see this show. It is so erotic and sexual, extremely very, sexual, very erotic." And she is the most erotic woman I know. This yeah. signed, erotic uh, in there. it signed uh, Sandra Bernhardt. <laughs> <laughs> in addition to that, she is a great dancer. Yeah, she's an awesome dancer. I, I mean, Jesus, it was just great. <laughs> well, thanks for calling. All right, guys. All right, have a good one. Okay, good luck. Bye. Seven nineteen. Let's go to Claire for the office of the day. We are saying hi to some folks who work right here in the city down at One Liberty Plaza at the Scandia America Group. Joanne, Jerry, Ann, Roseanne, Mita, and Maria getting our Z100 prize package, including the Dunkin' Donuts for being today's Office of the Day. John, what's doing in sports action this morning? Well, it's kind of a mixed bag for the local teams. The Yankees beat the Indians yesterday 5-3, as you probably already know. The Cardinals beat the Mets, though, 8-3. The Mets are lucky enough, though, to hang on to first place because the Pirates lost yesterday, so we're still tied for first place. But probably the most interesting sports story is all of the rumor, all of the gossip about Tom Tom Seaver coming on as GM with oh, the Yankees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tom has said he's had some talks with Steinbrenner, but uh, he's not talking in terms of what some final decision is. But you know what? I kind of think that Steinbrenner is the kind of guy he'll get one more back page in the newspaper yeah. by naming Tom Terrific GM, even though he's had no managerial experience the, before. The old, the old GM says, no, he doesn't want to work for Tom Seaver. He's, <laughs> he's out of there if they pick Tom. I have a feeling a lot of people may be out of there if they pick Tom. You know what, Bill? I don't think that's going to be Steinbrenner's last back page. You know what I'm talking <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the horrible scope. 719, 19 minutes after 7 o'clock. Claire Stevens, Professor Bell are here to tell you how your day is going to go. Well, the home front is where all the early action is for you, Leos. Today, you won't be bored if you attend to family affairs. And if you're a Virgo, today's the day you'll either stem the tide of doubt or else be washed away by it. Dig in and renew your faith. Come on, Libras. Don't be such a pushover. Stand up for your feelings and argue forcefully for your ideas. And if you're a Scorpio, you may find yourself pretending to agree with something you no longer believe in. Bring yourself up to date. Sagittarians, current circumstances may confuse you unless you take a more realistic look at the bigger picture, so broaden your perspective. Your sex life is on a roll, Capricorn, but too many rolls in the hay can get you into deep trouble. As hard as it may be, try to cut down a little bit. Sure. Listen up, Aquarians, you can turn your social life around this week if you get more involved with your co-workers. Hmm, boy, don't be such a hermit. Pisces, a little cheering up is definitely in order for you. Get a little extra tender, loving care tonight. Don't make any plans, Aries. It's going to be a spur-of-the-moment kind today, so just go with the flow. Taurus, after a rocky weekend, you may need a little time to recover. Take the day off. And you may find yourself attracted to an unusual person, Gemini. Go for it. Change of pace could be refreshing. Finally, Cancer Moon Children, a dream will finally come true, but not the way you expected. Be open to some alternatives at 721. Those are your officials who horrible scopes, and remember, don't, don't leave, leave home without them. Valerie Seagrave, let's do an instant traffic update on Z100. Another instant traffic update in minutes on Z100. You loved her heartwarming rendition of the Star Spangled Banner, and now she breathes new life into the hits of today. Pump up the jam, pump it up, pump it up, while your feet are stomping and the jam is pumping. Look yes, Roseanne Barr's greatest hits. Roseanne Barr's greatest hits, as only she can sing them. Can't It's a fabulous two-record set you'll cherish forever. Roseanne Barr's Greatest Hits. Grab your crotch, spit, and Thank order today. Hits me, hits me, hits me. So hard, makes me say, oh my lord. <laughs> Good one, Gary. 725. Uh, it's going to be wet all day today. Right now, 72 degrees at Z100. <laughs> and if you were uh, cruising the beach, you boarded the shore, maybe just checking out the yachts and the hands of the south of Z100, Bud Light and Sane Plane over the weekend. And you know the secret word. Give us a call right now. You can win $100 in free money on Z100. The new Z100 Morning Zoo with Ross and Gary and the entire zoo crew at 729. A driving alert this morning. Give yourself some extra time to get to where you're going because there's water all over the roadways. And if you're driving a Toyota, a Nissan or something like that, give yourself double extra time. 
I'm in the north side hospital, flat on my back, flipping by our side. Okay. Stop. Good morning, Z100. Hi. Who is this? This is Wendy. Wendy, where are you calling from? Seabright, New Jersey. Seabright, down on the Jersey Shore. That's right. What do you do for a living? I'm a secretary. For? Um, a computer company named Trick. Well. Did you see the insane plane trolling around down on the shore over the weekend? I sure did. What beach were you on? Um, I wasn't on the beach. I was on my balcony. Gotcha. And what was that big old secret word? Bannon. Yes, it was. Bannon, yes. Yeah. Oh. That's the last time that'll be used. He's out of town. We don't have to stroke him anymore. <laughs> Congratulations. You got $100. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 7.33, a rainy Monday. Drive very carefully. Let's catch up on the world of showbiz this morning. Adam Curry is off this morning because he was up here taping an interview with John Bon Jovi mm. last night. So, uh, he's They're got having the day a hair off. off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Madonna, Madonna, Madonna. Yes. Yes, last night on Z100 and HBO, Mr. Leonard was in the front row. Did you see him last night? I missed that. Did you see the Z100 t-shirt in the front row? Yeah, was that Leonard? That was Mr. Leonard. He'll oh, have a review right. later on this morning on the Z Morning Zoo. I was kind of switching between Twin Peaks last night and Madonna, and uh, I watched the first. There was no commercial in Twin Peaks for the first 29 minutes, and then when they finally went to the commercials, I flipped over to Madonna yeah. right in the middle of Like a Virgin. Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> With her legs spread. And it was what an amazing shot that was. <laughs> it was just kind of incredible. Also on the Z100 Airways last night, John Bon Jovi. He was up to promote his brief but meaningful appearance in uh, Young Buns too. If you blink, you miss him. I but didn't see him. Before the show, Elvis, uh, he invited I invited a uh, couple of close, warm, personal friends to dinner over in West Orange, New Jersey, at uh, Giuseppe Murata. And uh, John arrived in a regular sedan, not a stretch, not his Ferrari like last time. He was swamped by fans downstairs, but uh, didn't have time to sign autographs going in. He did promise to sign them on the way out, and he did. What a nice guy. Can you say 30,000-something? What? Timothy Busfield, the guy who plays Elliot, has finally re-signed for a reported 30,000 per episode. Oh. 30,000 times 26 shows. It's, uh, Never mind. it's a lot of money. Yeah, $780,000. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard to believe. Highway robbery at the New Kids concert. Not those pesky ticket scalpers, but some real type robbers broke into a back room at the stadium in Montreal. The vendors were courting, uh, were, excuse me, were counting the cash from t-shirt sales and were rather surprised when three men armed with guns and a fake hand grenade stormed in. They got away with two hundred sixty thousand dollars. Yes, but Ross, that is not the only new kids uh, new kids news this morning. What? There's more. Joe McIntyre, the squeaky clean guy in the band. Yeah. You got it. In a bar brawl in a Massachusetts bar. No. Yep. He was just hanging out listening to music. And a guy comes up and says, you know, I don't like you, but my girlfriend does. Give me an autograph. Oh, no. No. There's no way to. Uh, there's no autograph etiquette there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Joe punches the guy out. But the real question is, Joe's 17 years old. What's he doing in a bar with his buddies? Yes. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Dice's ex-wife is telling the world he's a really nice guy. Sure he is. So why is she suing him for $6 million? <laughs> Never mind. She's got to eat. And just when you thought it was safe to go back to the nightclubs, Roseanne is singing again. Oh. <laughs> yeah. She's added a singing set to her act. I am woman. <laughs> That's debatable. Mandy man. Oh, great. Kung fu fighting. Yeah. yeah. And of course, the ever popular Stand By Your Man. Better than sitting on him, I suppose. I think we ought to end showbiz news with that. <laughs> well, why don't, we, uh, why don't we do another mystery singer here and give something away, Ross? All right, here's, here's your choice. You get Richard Marks tickets. You can have a pair of tickets to see Billy Joel and the uh, Stormfront Tour at Giant Stadium. Or Aretha Franklin, as Z100 welcomes her to Radio City Music Hall. The choice is yours. All you have to do is identify this Z100 mystery singer. Here she is. I'm the saddest kid. In grade number two.
somebody singing the blues there. Wow. Probably Sid Fernandez after what Buddy Harrelson said to him. Go on a diet, you geek. Exactly right. <laughs> and speaking of diets, I'm glad you brought that up, Val, because it's time for a Nutrisystem commercial. How did you know? Got a, a, a fax in from Salomon Brothers uh, in uh, one New York Plaza, New York, New York, member of the New York Stock Exchange. Dear guys, just wanted to thank you for your great advertising, prompting my husband Mark and I to start dieting. He joined Nutrisystem and he loves it. He's lost eight and a half pounds in ten days. Oh. Hey. Difference is already there. I li- <laughs> she can see it for a change, I guess. I listen to Z100 at work and it keeps me going, especially when I have to stay late. Mark does not get to listen to the Z at work, but he listens in his car to and from work. Since Mark and I only met in 1986, would it be possible to play a favorite song for him? No problem. Got it coming up. A fan from the very start and still recruiting, Colleen De- De Dino from Salomon Brothers Incorporated. If you'd like to get on the Nutrisystem plan, there's still plenty of time. Just give him a call. 1-800-321-THIN. 1-800-321-THIN. Nutrisystem. It really works when you want to lose weight. It's 738. Let's go to Valerie Seagraves for an instant traffic update on Z100. Please rise and give a great big welcome to America's most famous working woman, Roseanne Barr. Bailey Idol at Z100, 745, it's quarter before 8. Z100, instant weather, cloudy, humid, lots of rain right through tomorrow. The high 76 both days. Let's go to the phone, see if we can get a winner with this mystery singer. Good morning, Z100. Good morning. Who is this? My name is Terry Eastman. Hello, Terry, what do you do for a living? I'm a medical computer operator. Oh! I work for MRT in Queens. All right. Terry. Uh Uh-huh? Who is our mystery singer this morning? That was Lisa Simpson. Yes, it was! Wow! Congratulations. You got your choice. Would you like Richard Marks tickets, Billy Joel tickets, or Aretha Franklin tickets? Billy Joel tickets. Congratulations. You're going to see Billy Joel August 18th at Giant Stadium. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hi. Okay, Ross. I, you know, when I was uh, kind of off work on my uh, enforced absence from the radio, yeah, I got a chance to... Uh, well, I saved up all my money. I got to be honest with you, and I went overseas. I went to, I went to England for Oh, really? Time. Yes. And I wound up in Liverpool, and I was at the Beatles... Shop in uh, right by the Cavern Club there, you know, in uh, Liverpool. Yeah. And uh, we st- I started talking to them. I said, you know, I'm a disc jockey in New York City. And uh, we started talking about uh, the Beatles. And they brought up New Kids on the Block. Well, wait a minute. Uh, new Kids on the Block and the Beatles? What do they have to do? Well, you know, this new song of New Kids is, is sort of like uh, all of the Beatles' greatest riffs all put together. And, you know, really? I, I you know, It's kind of hard for me to imagine. Well, let's put it this way. They handed me this record. Can I play it for you? Okay. Because it's kind of a response to the new kids on the block from the Beatles fan club, the official Beatles fan club in Liverpool, England. All right, let's do it. All right, here it is. What is it called? It's Not Right. Okay. It's Not Right.
Okay, now you get the point of view from the official Beatles fan club in Liverpool, right? All right, if you've got a comment on that, uh, we'll take calls at uh, 1-800-527-9090 on the special zoo lines. In the meantime, good morning, Z100. What do you think? I hate it. Oh, are you a big New Kids fan? Yes. Did sound a lot like the Beatles, though, didn't it? Yeah. All right, just checking. Thanks for calling. Okay. Bye-bye. Good morning, C100. That song is so mean. Mean? Yeah. It's mean to the new kids, isn't it? Yes. That's you, not right. That's the name of the song. That's exactly right. But it's so mean. <laughs> oh, okay. Get it off there. <laughs> Thanks for calling, okay? Bye. Bye-bye. Good morning, C100. Hi, my name is Kirsten, and um, my mom's a huge Beatles fan, and she's been one of the really big maniacs like I am, new kids. Right. And I don't think that song sounds anything like Beatles and neither does she. Really? My mom listens to my new tapes and she doesn't think it sounds anything like the Beatles. Well, okay. Thanks for your opinion. All right. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. It is 7.50, 10 minutes away from 8 o'clock on the Z Morning Zoo. Ross, I came from the official Beatles fan club. I don't know. It's kind of hard to believe, isn't it? Yep. AccuZoo weather. Well, it's going to be rainy and wet all day today. High 76 today and tomorrow. Right now, 72 degrees at Z100. Our special guest this morning, Duran Duran, will be here about 8.30 on the Z Morning Zoo. <laughs> Mondays suck. The Z Morning Zoo on Z100. And here's an item in uh, David Hinckley's column today. And where he says that uh, hearing Scott Shannon on Z100 last week was a reminder that the man is good. There you go. It was also great to hear Happy Trails again, both versus the party mix, as Claire Stevens said. Oh. <laughs> hey, she makes David Hinckley's column. How do you like that? Congratulations, nice. yeah. It is now 625, time for that dreaded early morning mystery oldie. And it's a picket ticket Tuesday, so you have your choice of prizes, right? That's right. right. We'll give you a ticket to see a racer at Jones Beach tomorrow night or uh, Richard Marks at Jones Beach and qualify you for front row seats, backstage pass, and the chance to see Richard live in Hawaii, or Billy Joel, Giant Stadium, August 18th, or Aretha Franklin, Radio City Music Hall, August 10th. The choice is yours. All you got to do is identify this demo clue. One more time. 1-800-242-0100. You got the answer. We got the prices. Dial carefully, and good, good luck. luck. Mallory Seagrave, standing by with a look at C100 Instant Traffic. Good morning, Z100. Hello? Who is this? It's Nick DiGiovanni. Nick, where are you calling from? Uh, Union. And uh, what do we do for a living, Nicholas? We are in training to be a programmer. What kind of programmer? Uh, a, no, a, a real, like, a computer programmer. Oh, a real programmer. A oh, real well, programmer, I guess. Kind of had us worried there. We thought you were going to be like Stud Kingston. No, <laughs> no, 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 please. God, no. Uh, Nick, will you identify that mystery oldie for us, please? Sure, it's Abracadabra by the Steve Miller Band. Absolutely. Would you like tickets to see Erasure, Aretha Franklin, Richard Marks, or Billy Joel? I'll take Billy Joel, thank you. Bingo! Giant, Giant Stadium, Stadium, August 18th. 18th. Thank you very much. Good morning, C100. Good morning. I thought you forgot about me. Sir? Yes. And we got a cold? So we have sinuses and polyps in our nose. Polyps in our nose. Right. I gotta tell you, you sound awful. I feel awful. Wow. What can we do for you? Well, I want to congratulate Gary on the, the fine work he's been doing. Well, thank you, sir. And uh, say hello again. I appreciate it. Did we know each other? No. I've spoken to uh, Ross many times. You don't work at Show World down at uh, by the Port Authority Terminal, do you? No, I don't. Because I never go there. I wouldn't know you from there. <laughs> All right, well, listen, I appreciate your calling and feel better, okay? Okay. All right, bye-bye. All right. Bye. It's going to be one of those mornings, Gary. I can tell right now. <laughs> and look who's here. Adam Perry, yeah. MTV guy. More dialing for dingbats coming up right here on the original. Z100 Morning Zoo. It's the all-new Z100 Morning Zoo with Gary Bryan, Ross Britton, and you know who. Or do you? <laughs> who is you know who? That's what I've been wondering. Z100 Instant Weather. Foggy this morning. Cloudy. Humid. More rain right through tomorrow. High around 82 both days. Low tonight around 70. And then Thursday, cloudy with a chance for more showers and thunderstorms. 72 right now at Z100. It was 
five years ago today that Simon LeBon of Duran Duran joined us for the very first time. Oh man, can I hear that interview again, Ross? <laughs> <laughs> and it, Adam Curry is here. And it was just yesterday that Simon was here for the last time. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a sterling interview that was. Yeah, well, five, six, well, how long ago was it? Seven years ago? Five. Five years ago. There were 5,000 people downstairs. Yesterday, it was a couple of hundred. So, this is, <laughs> gotta tell you. Adam, you're here this morning. You know, one thing I noticed about you. Uh-oh. When I stand next to you, I feel short and bald. <laughs> if you got it, flaunt it, Gary, as we always say. Yes, thank you, Mr. MTV guy. <laughs> Gotta say happy birthday to all the celebrities today on the list. Peter O'Toole is 56 today. Don Larson, the uh, famous former Yankee pitcher, is 61. Uh, anniversaries, Tom Selleck and Jillian Mack are celebrating four years together. Faye Dunaway and Peter Wolf, 17 years. Oh, and a final birthday... And please pay attention, B.J. Thomas is 48 years old today. Yeah, raindrops keep falling on our head. <laughs> exactly. And here's Claire with the rest of the birthdays and anniversaries. We're wishing, we're wishing a very happy birthday today Gosh. to Ray Amati. And happy birthday also, Bernice Mastemzo, Henry Vogman, Debbie Sheehan, and Yvette Heron. And happy anniversary on this Tuesday to Karen and Tony DeMata, Lizzie and Michael Fazzari, Ruth and Benjamin Miles, and a very happy 17th to Dorothy and Roman Geyer, who are celebrating 17 years together, and they've never, never had, had a fight. fight. You know, ladies and gentlemen, one of the things that starts to happen right away when you lose weight is you start to feel better about yourself. Whether you've lost 10 pounds or 100, you look better, you know you look better, and it's easier to face that mirror in the morning and have a great day when you know for a fact that you look great. In fact, one side effect that psychologists talk about is when you lose weight, your sex life gets better because you feel better about other people seeing you without your clothes on. All right. And more women are willing to talk to you. <laughs> That's exactly right. As Bill probably knows from his bar experience. You know, you'll notice that people start flirting with you around the office cooler a little more. Well, what better reason to get on the Nutrisystem plan? Because there's over 80 Nutrisystem centers located throughout the metro New York area, including their newest one on Lexington Avenue and 86th Street in Manhattan. So why not give them a call right now? Pick up the phone. And dial 1-800-321-THIM. We can tell you about the diet. We can tell you it works. But it doesn't do anything unless you pick up the phone and call them. At 1-800-321-THIN. Nutrisystem. It really works when you want to lose weight. The Z Morning Zoo returns with more right after this. You'll laugh till you throw up. Wake up. You know you got it. Don't wake up, take a look at the clock. Shake the sleep from your head, get your butt out of bed. The zoo is here to put your system in shock. Brian and Brynn in the morning on C100. The C Morning Zoo. Even George Steinbrenner can't fire us. C100. If you're in a vault, your Steinbrenner says you're fired. You're fired! Tell the show that your Steinbrenner is retired. <laughs> Steinbrenner, Steinbrenner, he fired everyone. You're out of here! Now your team has gone, he won by son. Gee, thanks, Dad. Steinbrenner, <laughs> they fought you now you're through. Steinbrenner, <laughs> the commissioner's after you. Steinbrenner, <laughs> they caught you now you're through. Steinbrenner, <laughs> the commissioner's after you. That Steinbrenner is really a crazy clown. <laughs> With your flag, they rode him out of town. <laughs> Steinberg, Steinberg, you're not the boss no more. <laughs> We're so glad your butt is out the door. Steinberg, <laughs> they caught you now you're through. Steinberg, <laughs> the commissioner's after you. Zizu in the morning. It's that all new Z100 Morning Zoo firmly ensconced on a rainy, rainy Tuesday. It's going to be off and on all day, right, Ross? Yeah, foggy this morning, cloudy and humid with more rain. Right through tomorrow, as a matter of fact. High 82 both days, 70 tonight and 73 right now at Z100. Big Michael J. Fox billboard just put up in Times Square. If you haven't seen it, you might want to drive through on one of the off periods and check it out. It's a 30-foot-tall Michael smoking a cigar for his new movie, The Hard Way. They're using it in the backgrounds and stuff like that. And Gary and I were by there yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. on our way down, we're, we're actually we've got a bit part in the movie, so look for us in the, in the new movie. Right, look hard too, because it's, <laughs> it's gonna be tougher to spot than John Bon Jovi and Young Buns too. We may uh, wind up with a cutting room floor. Speaking of movies, you know, uh, Days of Thunder and Dick Tracy are no longer in the top ten this week. Did Goodbye. you see that? 
I mean, Dick Tracy, I think, is going to make its hundred million, but Days of Thunder, surprisingly, with, uh, you know, Tom Cruise being the number one movie star today, is uh, not in the top ten anymore. Didn't do real well. Days of Thunder was number 11, and uh, Dick Tracy was number 15. And the number one movie this week, yes. Ghost. Ghost with Patrick Swayze. So it pays off when you let it hang out in People magazine, I guess. <laughs> All right, speaking of movies, the mystery movie. And it's good for us since today is uh, Pick and Ticket Tuesday. You can't choose any of the tickets because we have a $100 gift certificate to Blockbuster Video for you. <laughs> here's, here's your mystery movie clue. You are just as confused as Scott said you were. You know that. Here's a clue. <laughs> Well, I've heard that sound before. That was kind of ugly. That's Usually, though, it's in Steve Kingston's office. <laughs> nah, absolutely. That's what I'm, I didn't want to say it. 242-0100. Dial carefully and good, good luck. luck. 656 now. Four minutes away from 7 o'clock. Let's check in with Valerie Seagraves for C100 Instant Traffic. Thanks, Rob. The best music, WHTZ, New York, New York City. It's 702 at the all-new Z100 Morning Zone. We have done it now, Ross. Yep. No winner for the mystery movie. Let me give you one more clue. Here it comes. I can't identify that. Well, let's give you a little help, all right? You want one more? Play another one. You, you want to see something really scary? You're bad. Really? Yeah. There you go. 1-800-242-0100. Dial carefully and good luck. I hope. I hope. Z one hundred with Motley Crew. It's seven oh eight at the all new Z Morning Zoo, and I think we may have a winner for that mystery movie, Ross. Could we play the clue again? Yeah. You, you want to see something really scary? You're bad. Really? Yeah. Good morning, Z100. How are you? You good? How about you? Okay. I am. What can we do for you? I'd like to take a guess at the movie. Okay, take your shot. Would it be the Twilight Zone the movie? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Is this Robin Montagna? Yes, it is. Where are you calling from, Robin? From Bayonne. You know, we have a little machine here that prints out the names of, not the numbers, but the names of people who call us. It identifies voice prints from an FBI record. And Robin, congratulations. We have a $100 gift certificate to Blockbuster Video for you. <laughs> have a great Great time. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye. It's Warren. Z100. That's the station that plays 10 songs in a row. 10 songs in a row. More of my favorite songs back to back. Back to back. <laughs> it's fun. Fun. I have free money. Free money. The Z Morning Zoo. The Z Morning Zoo. Come down to this. You hear more of New York's best music every hour. Bon Jovi. Elvis Duval. Billy Idol. More of New York's best music every hour. Elvis Duran, man. Elvis Duran. The best music. Z100. The best music. Z100. Period. 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 The electrifying, death-defying, all-new Z100 Morning Zoo. And me, Gary Bryan, Ross Britton is here, the entire zoo crew. It is 7-13 and AccuZoo weather for today. Looking pretty good. Foggy this morning, cloudy and humid. More rain through tomorrow. The high 82 both days. Low tonight around 70 and cloudy with a chance for more showers and thunderstorms on Thursday. Sorry to give you the bad news. Drive safely because it is still pretty slippery out there. Somebody did a 180 in back of me as I was driving into work this morning. 73 degrees right now at Z100. Today, we are broadcasting from the mighty Mallride Meadowlands Broadcasting Complex. <laughs> you can almost see Giant Stadium from where we are if the fog wasn't so heavy. Hey, while you're driving this morning, be careful of that lead foot because the gas prices are still going up at the pumps mm -hmm. because of the uh, arachnophobia situation that's happening. Now, I don't understand how they, you know, and everybody is talking about this, how they start jacking them up right when the news hits, just like that. It's a major ripoff, Gary. That's what's happening. You remember a couple of years ago when the oil prices cost the world oil went down 50%? Right. It took three months to get a five-cent decrease at the pump. You didn't see them rushing right out to change the pumps that day, did yeah, This is nothing but a ripoff. We need to write our congressman, tell people to cut this crap out. Well, let me tell you, the interesting part about this is nobody wants to take responsibility. You but can't get the oil companies to say they're doing it or the dealers or whoever. So. No, 
spokesman for the oil company say, oh, it's not us, it's the middleman. Yeah, sure. And the sure, dealers say, right. no, we're not raising the prices. This was passed on to us by the middlemen. Well, I know that uh, there's a lot of people listening at gas stations this morning, and the guys who uh, actually own them, run them, or guys who just work there, I'd like to know who, yeah. who gave the order to change the price of the pump. Does somebody have the guts to call us up? And tell us who it was that gave that gave that word. Good idea. Yeah, I'd like to know. Yeah, let's give them the number right now. It's 1-800-527-9090. You can get through on that number. 1-800-527-9090. Call us this morning and give us a straight scoop at Z100. We're going to share it with everybody. It's 7.15 now. Claire's got the office of the day. We're saying hi to Eddie, Greg, Judy, Marie, and Jeanette there at Estella Development Corporation in Coney Island, Brooklyn. We're sending them Dunkin' Donuts and the rest of the Z100 prize package as our office of the day. I don't know what the last 10 games for the Yankees have been, but since they got rid of George, things are going pretty well, Bill. Things have been looking up <laughs> great for the Yankees lately. They beat the Indians yesterday 2-1. to one. Roberto Kelly and uh, Kevin Moss both had home runs. All those new kids that are playing for the Yankees look like they know how to play some baseball. The Yankees may be on a youth movement. Maybe a year or so away from a world's championship. Who don't, knows? Don't don't press it too hard. <laughs> <Not really. laughs> a little optimism yeah. oh, here yeah. this morning. The Mets lost to the Cards yesterday, five to one. Tom Seaver, he says they say he's out as the uh, Yankee GM. All that uh, rumor that was going around the other day. Yankee management now says no way. Tom's not coming in. The Mets will be at home against the Phillies tonight. Frank Viola pitch. Yanks are out in Seattle. Mike Witt should be on the mound. That's sports. Okay, it's seven sixteen. Here is Claire Stevens and Jonathan B. Bell with your Zizu a horrible sculpts. Listen, Leos, don't wait for that. That perfect moment because it may never come so interrupt break in but get it over with and if you're a virgo stop meddling in everything once you've given someone a task to do let them do it go out of your way to make friends with that special someone today libra the resistance that's been keeping you at a distance is about to go down scorpio your work habits are like a bad rummage sale one big mess <laughs> tie up the loose ends before your tattered nerves shatter to pieces hey sagittarius don't make any major decisions while you're still coming off the rebound wait for time to heal all those Wounds. Get hold of people who really would benefit from your contact, Capricorn. Write some letters, make some overdue phone calls, reach out and touch someone. Hey, live life to the fullest today, Aquarians. You are limited only by your imagination, so think big. Come on, Pisces. Don't waste time trying to rebuild a house of cards. Start working on a new and stronger foundation. Whoops, Aries. You're getting a lot done, but it's a bit sloppy around the edges. Use a little more spit and polish. Taurus, don't start interpreting freaky coincidences as signs from above. Chalk them up to pure chance and forget about them. Listen up, Gemini people sitting on the fence might take your side of the argument today if you use a little friendly persuasion. And if you can't twist a few arms, well, break a few legs. Cancer Moonchild, here's something you got to learn. You can't stop people from being stupid. <laughs> but you can stay away from them when they try to involve you. Get out of the way while you can. Ah, good advice. 716, those are your officials of Horrible Scopes. And remember, don't, don't leave, leave home without them. And now, Valerie Seagraves of Z100 Instant Traffic. You thought they were gone for good, but they're back. The cutest pop songs of the 60s and 70s in the most horrifying movie of the 90s. Prepare yourself for the terror of Bacarachnophobia. Why do birds The lyrics will make you shiver. Do you know the ah, ah. The melodies will make you sick. In a sea of underfed quarter notes. What do you get when you fall in love? <laughs> Bacarachnophobia. Eight verses, two choruses, and an attitude. 725, 25 after 7 at the all new Z100 Morning Zoo. Foggy and cloudy and rainy today with a high of 82. Very, very humid. Needless to say, tomorrow cloudy with a chance for more showers and thunderstorms. Right now, 73 at Z100. Let's go to the phones. We're talking about gas prices and we're talking to people who run gas stations this morning. Good morning, Z100. Hi. How are you doing? Just fine. How are you? Who's this? This is John. John, where are you calling from? Santa Merchant, New York. And John, what do you do for a living? Well, I run a motel, but I all part-time I work at a mobile station. Okay. Ah. So are you the guy that went out and changed the pumps? Uh, no, the boss did that, but um, Thursday night? Yeah. Okay, we got a call from mobile, and they were like, um, Friday morning, you got to raise the prices four cents right across the board. Ooh. And they also said between the end of the month, it's going to raise another 10 to 25 cents. Get the front door. Get the front door, that's right. <laughs> so so the, the gas company told you they were raising prices? Yes. Right across the board, mm -hmm. even though the prices shouldn't hit the consumers for another 45 to 90 days. Right. 
Were you raising the prices on oil that you already had stored in your tanks? Um, the, the gasoline that was there, yeah. Hmm. I mean, we get a dollar forty-eight credit for super loaded. So what it is is you're gouging the consumers. Something like that. <laughs> I wanted to make sure on that one. It, yeah. It's always the part-time guy who tells the truth, isn't it? It's real right. ridiculous, especially you know, when you're trying to make ends meet and get, just keep trying. So how much is regular unleaded going for at your station right now? Uh, it's $1.27. Oh! Holy cow. Wow. That's a lot, isn't it? Tremendous. You're not going to be taking any long trips in your car, are you? No. I mean, it's just back and forth to work, and that's about it. What about the super unleaded? What's that going for? $1.48 credit. Oh! Uh. But that's yeah. not too bad, because out in Southampton, it's over it's over $1.60. Cool. Yeah, exactly. but that's, that's where all the stars are, so they can afford it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, listen, thanks for calling. Let me give you a Z-shirt. Okay, thanks. Hold on. All right. It's 727. There's got to be an official story someplace, and somebody's going to call with it. Mm -hmm. You got the numbers. This is Z100.